tonight. A school student in Jacksonville, Florida, a judge said he'd seen enough. He banned the teenage attacker from the area's public schools. But as Mark Strassman tells us tonight, that decision puts school leaders in a difficult position. Two months ago, Aria Jewett was lured into a fight near her middle school. I tried to walk away and... As you walked away, that's when she grabbed you. So, like, I didn't even know it was coming. The cell phone video of the assault is hard to watch. Her attacker, another 14-year-old eighth grader, slammed Jewett's head into a stone wall. After she fell, defenseless, the attacker sat on her and beat her repeatedly. Jewett estimates 30 kids watched. Because she had everyone else, like, videotape, and she had the girl bring me over there. So she probably had this planned. Jewett suffered a fractured skull. Her attacker was arrested for aggravated assault and removed permanently from Ocean Way Middle School in Jacksonville. Jewett says her attacker has a history of videoed assaults like this. Had you ever seen other videos of her beating up other kids? Yes. You've seen other videos. How many? Like five. Five videos of her beating up Two other or kids. three at the school. And that she still never got expelled or anything. Jewett's family asked Florida Circuit Judge Henry Davis to protect her. His ruling about the attacker surprised even them. This child is a threat to all the children at any school. The injunction is a permanent injunction, barring this child from returning to any public school in Duval County. But the school district superintendent says the judge went too far. I don't think we should use the bad decisions children make outside of schools as an example or a scapegoat to make a message. Nikolai Vidi says public education is a constitutional right, and all 130,000 students in Duval County's public schools deserve second, even third chances. And I believe that the perpetrator should be provided the same opportunity. It's, it's a tough decision, it's a, but my role as superintendent is to support the law and enforce the law. A lawyer for Jewett's attacker told us in a statement, our goal is to return our client, a child, to a public school so she can complete her studies for this academic year. Just last week, a Florida appeals court suspended the order banning her from all Duval County schools. She could be back in class tomorrow. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Jacksonville, Florida. Next up, the